Jaden Sancho, it's all starting to get a little bit exciting, isn't it? Did a video yesterday and then all of a sudden, an hour later, it all started to kick off, which is absolutely typical. But in this video, we're going to cover all of the latest on Sancho. And there's been plenty to talk about, about his contract being agreed on the personal terms, on the length of the contract, what's happening with negotiations with Dortmund and United, what we should expect to happen next. Lots to cover in this video. So make sure you drop a like on the video. But let's talk more about Jaden Sancho and his move to United. And of course, the big updates here, they're coming from Fabrizio Romano, the godfather of United transfer news. And this is what he's had to say on Sancho and the latest updates. He's saying that Manchester United and Dortmund are still in locked in negotiations, but the personal terms and the contract for Sancho, that has been agreed until June 2025. So a five-year contract for Jadon Sancho. But it's still that sticking point of the fee between United and Dortmund. And whether or not it's going to be more add-ons and more instalments or more up front, that's where the negotiations lie at the moment. And that's, for me, where the negotiations will probably take the longest. Because agreeing personal terms with Sancho, I'm not even sure whether they may have been agreed previously or whether they've always been agreed for a long time. But Sancho... He wants to come to United. He wants to come back to the Premier League. That was never part of the problem. The problem was, how much do we have to pay Dortmund? And Fabrizio reiterated that in another tweet that he sent when somebody asked him about what is happening next. And Fabrizio went into it in a little bit more detail. He said that Sancho wants to join Manchester United. He's waiting to find if Dortmund and United can find an agreement. It's up to the club, says Dortmund, to push him to decide soon because they need a replacement if Sancho was to leave. Now, their pre-season stuff starts on the 10th of August. I said yesterday, I went on record, I might have been wrong when I said the deadline really meant nothing, when it was just more like Dortmund trying to force United, but United weren't going to react. It looks like United are reacting. And I'll base my opinion on what I've seen from United for years in the transfer market, but maybe we're improving. And I, I hope to God that I'm wrong and that we do sign Sancho by Monday. Imagine that. Ooh, that would be sweet. And then Fabrizio had a little bit more to say about Sancho. When somebody asked him a question, he said the agreement between the clubs is the only thing that is missing. They're in talks, but the contract has been agreed. Now, that's a big step. Let's find out what happens next. That's what this week, next week is all about now. That negotiation between Dortmund and United on that price. Whether it's 70 million euros up front plus 50 million spread across 30 and 20 and two instalments. Who knows? But that's, for me, is where the negotiations are going to take the longest. Don't think the problem was ever Sancho and his terms with United because he wants to join. The problem will always be on Dortmund and United and on that price. But what are the rest of the press saying? Let's take a look. Simon Stone from the BBC. He's saying he thinks the deal will end up being done because Solskjaer really wants the player. Now, Solskjaer has been very clear in his targets that he's wanted. You know, Maguire, he's got wan he's got Dan James, you know. I think he's done very well. And then you have Bruno Fernandes as a sprinkling on top. He wanted him last summer, but Woodward delayed it because of the payments, unfortunately. And fingers crossed it doesn't happen again with Sancho, but there's previous. But that's what Simon Stone of the BBC is saying. Now, James Ducker at The Telegraph, he's saying that Alexis Sanchez's exit is what paves the way for Sancho coming in because I think Sanchez's deal is worth in the region of £500,000 a week when you include bonuses and all the crap that United gave him that was the worst deal that I think we've ever made in history in terms of the impact it's had and how much it cost us. And thank God he has gone. My reaction to that is over on Facebook. There's a link in the description to the Facebook page. I'll be doing lots more shorter videos covering all the news on the Facebook page as well as these big videos on YouTube. So make sure you check that out. Interestingly enough, James Ducker did a bit of research and showed this paper, well, this back page from The Telegraph, March 2019 and United and Solskjaer pursuing Sancho. So his name has been linked to United for a long time. And it's not just out of nowhere that Sancho and United's interest in Sancho has come about. We've been after him for some time, but it looks like United really are aggressively pushing. And the Daily Mail are going in, pretty much saying what everybody else is saying. Nothing new really there. And in terms of the German press, the German press are quite quiet this morning. I'm sure there'll be developments over the day probably over the next couple of days, but nothing too new coming from Germany. It's Fabrizio Romano and his updates. That's what's leading the push since yesterday 
on Sancho's move to United. So where does that leave us with Sancho and what's the current situation? So according to Fabrizio, the contract is agreed. The terms, what the wages are, we don't know, but a five-year contract, which is pretty much the minimum that you would expect, especially a major signing like Jadon Sancho. So the only thing we're waiting for now is Dortmund and United to agree on that fee. For me, that's where the delays were going to come from. And I hope I'm wrong and I hope United can get it done quickly and just give Dortmund what they want and don't try and, and sort of get four or five million squeezed out of it. Uh, James Ducker, interestingly, is saying that the add-ons can include something about Champions League glory. Well, some way off that. Sancho winning the Ballon d'Or in the future. Not completely unreasonable, given how good he is at such a young age. But that structure of the payment is, that's where the problems are going to come up because Dortmund are going to have the idea of what they want the contract and the add-ons and the installments to be and United's might be very different. The compromise has to be found. Will it be found by Monday? I hope to God, as I said, that I am completely wrong about that deadline and, and the fact that I don't think United will be able to sign Sancho before then. Maybe the compromise will be easier than I think it is. But as far as we're all concerned now, there's only one thing we're really waiting to hear, isn't it? Here we go! And it will be a good day when we see Fabrizio Romano tweeting those famous three words that everybody wants to hear. No, not I love you. Here we go. Look, I hope, as I said a million times in this video, I hope I'm wrong about the deadline on Monday and I'll hold my hands up and say, look, I was completely wrong. I'll eat humble pie. But United have taught me over the last few years for a long time that negotiations are never really executed quickly. Maybe it's a bit different with Sancho because we've, we've had a plan to sign Sancho for some time. So right now we're just executing that plan rather than going after a player that, that's more of a surprise than anything. Let's see what happens. But if the contract is agreed, the terms are agreed and Sancho wants the move, it's all down to Edward Wood and Matt Judge to negotiate with Dortmund over that price. I think, personally, I think 100 million for Sancho is a fair price, given his quality, his record, and it, what he's done since going to the Bundesliga with Dortmund. And he, is he only 20? He's young as hell. He's got his whole career ahead of him. So I think 100 million, if we're going to pay 80 million for Harry Maguire, who was way overpriced, I personally think, then hell yeah. Add 20 million on top of that and get Sancho and get a front four of Greenwood, Rashford, Martial and Sancho playing in front of Pogba and Fernandez with McTominay or Matic or Fred as defensive midfield. And if we go out and sign a proper defensive midfielder, Christ, that is a complete looking front attacking side and midfield. And United will be in the best shape. We've been in some time and Sancho for me is a key, key ingredient. The stardust, the goals from the right hand side, the left foots, the right foots, the assists. He would add so much to this team, which is growing and growing and growing in confidence. But that is the latest on Sancho from Fabrizio Romano, from BBC, Telegraph, Daily Mail, the British press. The German press is a bit quiet at the moment, but I'll bring you updates as and when there are some. But how excited are you? Do you really think it can be done by next Monday? I hope to God I'm wrong and I hope to God it can happen by next Monday. But let's see what happens. If there's any more updates, you know where to find them on United People's TV on YouTube and the People's Person on the Facebook page. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Till next time, take it easy.